Hey everybody, um, good evening. Uh, we're going to be doing a live paint session. And uh, what we're going to be using today is this canvas that I found that somebody had thrown out uh, on my street a few weeks ago. And um, rather than just see this being hauled off to God knows where, uh, I decide that I'm going to try and make something of it. Um, so what am I going to make with it or what am I going to paint on it? I honestly do not know, but that's part of the fun, ain't it? <laughs> now, there is a tear right here. There's a rip in the canvas right there. But we're going to try and work around that. Uh, we're going to see if we can fit, like, do some paint levels and whatnot and see if we can fix that up. If not, I don't know. <clears throat> this session is going to be something like a mixture of Pollock and... Uh, Perhaps a bit of Van Gogh. I've I've got a lot on my mind right now. using some Mondo Llama. me I'm trying to cover up what this original canvas was the the other part of me is trying to work on this little gap right here this little tear I don't know if you can see it but it's right there it's right there So we're trying to put some paint down and hopefully cover that up. And uh, because if there's one thing I've noticed is paint can uh, be some kind of an adherence. I think this might be the largest canvas I've ever worked on. Share this on a, 
or to the book, the, 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 the Facebook. sharing this and we're set. So I should probably preface, preface this uh, by saying that in my last video, um, I need to say my mother is fine. She's confused. She is easily, um, I guess, confused. But she is fine. This, um, I posted this video on Facebook yesterday, a link, well, a link to it, the live stream from yesterday or last night. And uh, somebody put down their condolences. And as a result, people started assuming that my mother had passed away, which wasn't the case. I mean, if that was the case, then who the hell did I uh, uh, visit yesterday? But outside of the possibility of doppelgangers, mimics, or uh, what was it? Um, walking or traversing into a parallel universe. My mom, my mom is fine. Gotta get every last little drop out of these things. So to reiterate, my mom is alive. She is fine. The only person who's not, I guess one could argue, like she, she had a stroke, but she's doing better. Cognitively, I think she and I are on the same page right now. I got my issues, so does she. <laughs> but um, she really is doing a lot better. And uh, for all the well wishes that have been coming her way, I do appreciate that. And I know she would too. What I am trying to do right now is just trying to cover all this up. And uh, God bless my aunt, my uncle and everybody in the family who's been coming over to help clean the house because she's she's going to be home uh, Thursday, I mean, uh, this Sunday. I don't know if during the, at the evening or during the evening or during the day, but she will be back. And uh, 
I would like to get as much of this done as possible because it's just going to be confusing for a for a long while. I don't know why we're going with, with gray. I actually did uh, do some downsizing today, or yeah, well, not today because today is no longer today. It's now uh, it was it's now yesterday, but I downsized some of my uh, Legos and Mega Block stuff and handed those off to some of my coworkers. Um, the logic being that. Um, Because of my mom's sort of state, the state she's in now, um, you got we got to be very careful about where she can go, what she can do, and uh, Legos and the like are one of those things that um, really take up a lot of space. And if she needs to get somewhere, it's going to be a problem because I don't want her to have to um, work around whatever I'm doing and risk her tripping and falling over. So that's going to be something we're going to have to, I'm going to try and start condensing and consolidating and uh, compressing and contracepting and Yes, it is one o'clock in the morning. This was a New York City uh, canvas. It had like all this New York stuff and uh, I just decided to do something very uh, Walter White or Wayne White. I think that was his name. Uh, yeah, Wayne White. He was a, for those of you who don't know his, the artist, he was a, uh, a producer and one of the set designers on Pee Wee's Playhouse. And uh, they were quite stoned when making that show. Um, And uh, he would sometimes go into thrift stores and do uh, uh, looking for canvases just so he could use the frames or something. But then he started reincorporating the uh, paintings themselves in using in doing paints on top of those and making them his own. So that's kind of what I'm doing, but I'm just covering up the whole daggum thing. <clears throat>
The paint's seeming to hold on to pretty well. Hold on to pretty well. Do I know what I'm going to do? Absolutely not. Smells fishy. This isn't paint, it's gesso, but I sometimes use it as paint, which may or may not be a good idea, but screw it. This is my work, I'm doing it how I want to see it. And I think it was like right around here 
this is where that little tear in the canvas was that even I can't even tell um, something actually happened here. That's spraying a lot better. there that's where the stitches were um see like i said can't really even tell well now you can but i still don't know what i'm going to be doing here but it's going to be expressive So while I was at work today, I um, I uh, I brought uh, cookies not just for my area but for all the uh, adjoining uh, areas. Um, like I work PS one, so I brought stuff for PS two, three, four, five, six, and even hazmat. Um, because you know, uh, it, it was it was my birthday and uh, I just there 
there's at least one or two people on each, uh, in each area that I, I wish to join in on the, on my day. So I decide to, rather than just uh, leave some people out, um, I just decide to go well all out, and uh, everybody was invited. That was close. Is it wrong that part of me will miss this sort of independence? Is it wrong that I've grown accustomed to be relatively on my own? Is it wrong that I love these late nights just to have the house to myself. To have a modicum of greater liberties than I normally can enjoy on my own or than I can enjoy with my mother here while I'm not saying I'm grateful that she had a stroke by all means it was horrible it's still horrible and she's going to it's going to be something that's affecting our family and her for I don't know how long but for, I guess, a chance to be on my own, to know what it's like for a while, to somewhat, and I say this lightly, to somewhat mature, to know what it's like to be out on my own, to look out for the place, to look out for myself, for Teddy, who's the puppy over there, um, on my own. Is it wrong? It's wrong to say that there are some moments that even the best of friends can enjoy some time in Oak Park. But this is her home, this is her house, this is her domain. And she's been away for it from it for him far too long. But 
but with returning means changes and I don't know for how long these changes will will last plus there's a side of her that almost I want to say frightened me I can't begin to imagine what it must be like for her to have all your cognitive, your faculties all aligned, all working, but not to be able to use them. Must be horrifying. time that she said she didn't even recognize me or this to be told to somebody who 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 didn't have ADHD whose mind doesn't settle in one place for too long I think that would have broken anybody that would definitely that that definitely break up a lot of people to have somebody, a, a mother or father, someone that close to you, not be able to recognize you or remember who you are. This was, this was at least back when she was still at Baptist. So this was still fairly early on, but it was. It's something I won't forget. But my, this, this mind of mine, this, the way the brain, my brain functions, you know, it, it, it just, it, it acts on its own accord. It, it tells me, it reminds me of moments that, of moments that, I've forgotten about or I choose to suppress or repress and it'll forget about things that are worthwhile and I can never focus on one idea or one memory or one thing for too long because the more I do, the more I think about it, the more it just seems to go away, the more it becomes tougher and tougher to focus and remember and it just slips away so i just let my mind wonder the way it does it just goes wherever it wants to go when they happen they it just don't last Some of the other updates that I wanted to do that I forgot to mention last night 
will be um, like for my channel. I um, a lot of my stuff that I've been working on will be put on hiatus. There's been a Fallout game that I've been working on, pitching an idea for, but I just I don't know what time I will have to work on that to do any recording if I'm going to be working during the day and I don't know if me recording will upset or aggravate or whatever with my mom I just I don't know I don't want to be selfish in this whole ordeal. I, I don't want to. It's the last thing I want. It's like, I, I, I want to say, my mother is, what's happened is, we need to focus on her, okay? The she, she is the priority. She, her recovery, her well-being, is the uh, focus, the focal point here. Um, it is the driving factor for everything that has been going on the past few weeks, the nearly the past month now. Um, that is what's important, and. I, yes, she, that is the important thing. And I tell myself that over and 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 over. But, but I just also think, what is this going to do for me? Like, not like, oh, what am I going to get out of this? But the, uh, I'm going to have to make changes. I'm going to have to. Uh, change the way uh, I'm going to have to reschedule work. I might actually have to outright quit Publix for a while uh, or entirely. Um, so that's like a career uh, something all it's gone. Um, I had to drop out of an art gallery thing that was going to be coming up because I knew that the stress, I we just, there's no way we could have done it. There's no earthly way with all the things that have been going on for us to get a, an exhibit put together for a local art uh, shop. I'm going to go grab my drink and my, my headphones so I can, I can listen to something. Got my headphones, got a drink, a drink, not, not, not the, the drink. Got the cord, so I can plug that up. I am back. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. It's my interpretation of the Beatles' White Album. It's a swan.
So I, I'm just. Here we are, The Who. <clears throat> Favorite band, The Who. Nasal trip. Horrible. <coughs> Love rain over me. Only love can make it rain. Find the sea. Only love can make it rain. Tell if love birds. Only love make it rain <coughs> to the sky. Only love make it rain, but love. To cool, cool rain. I see, see, but I, my feet. Oh, guys, 
Oh God, I need a drink of cool, cool rain. There's this ad I just listened to, and uh, it was, I didn't know what it was for, but it was, uh, uh, apparently there was this lady who got in a taxi cab, and the taxi driver was like, where to, ma'am? And she was like, home. Take me home. Lady, I don't know where the fuck you live. <laughs> I, that that got a laugh out of me. That was clever. I don't know what it was for, but that was clever. Okay, what next? Okay, uh... we're going to play uh, True Blue by John, John Williamson. <laughs> hey, True Blue. Don't say you're gone. Say you've knocked off for us, my guy. And you'll be back later on. Hi, True Blue. 
a true blue. <coughs> Give to me straight. Face to face. Oh. True blue. Is it me and you? Is it a cockatoo? I am mate when she's in a fight. Or oh, will she be right? True blue, I'm asking you. Hey, true blue, and you better load. Will you tie it up with wire just to keep the show on the road? True blue. True. Never fitting in. Is your heart still there? <clears throat> if they sell us out like sponge cake, do you really care, true blue? True blue. Is it me and you? Is it mom and dad? Is it a cockatoo? Is it standing by a mate when she's in a fight? Or will she be right? True blue. I'm asking you, true blue, me and you, is it mom and dad, is it a cockatoo, is it standing by your mate, when she's in a fight, or will she be right? True blue. True I think I figured out what I'm painting. As grim, as macabre as it can be. I think I know what I'm painting. This all but empty.
brush cleaner. But there's no real wrong way to do it, eh? Listening to Philip DeFranco at the moment. I love getting news like this.
Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day on this stream. Uh, take care. <laughs>